And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for July 21st. Two systems are out there right now, both of them in the Eastern Pacific. Tropical Depression 7E and we've just upgraded 8E on Force 13 analysis to a tropical storm. We expect the National Hurricane Center will follow suit and give it a name in the next few hours. In the Atlantic, there's two areas of interest that we've marked on our map here, 20% for each of them, one in the Gulf of Mexico, one entering through the main development region towards the Caribbean, so keep watching those two. The Eastern Pacific then, those two tropical cyclones that are currently active, 8E looking better, maybe the first genuine shot of a hurricane uh, in the season so far in the Eastern Pacific, we'll see. And in the Western Pacific, there are no storms active and none expected anytime soon. Could we see the first stormless July in the Western Pacific since 1886? In the South Indian Ocean, there is another area of interest as well that we've been monitoring for a few days. 30% now could become a tropical cyclone as it meanders around that region north of Madagascar near the Seychelles. Looking at the North Atlantic satellite imagery then, you can see what's going on. Um, that wave that's currently moving over Cuba is the one that we're watching for potential development. There's also that one near the coast of Texas. We haven't marked it just this time, but there is a small possibility that it could develop into a brief spin-up cyclone before landfall. And uh, further east there, that main development region system. Close up of the Gulf there, you can see that system potentially beginning to acquire some kind of circulation near the coast. The East Pacific looking like this, you can see those two cyclones once again, 7E partially exposed and 8E uh, which is looking much better, a uh, convection flaring up, some uh, quite high tops near the uh, centre of this cyclone and it does appear to look much better than when ASCAP passed over a few hours ago and caught nearly tropical storm force winds even back then. The Western Pacific is looking extremely dead. What else is there to say about the Western Pacific? Well, there's a few clouds here and there, but well, uh, uncharacteristically, the deadest basin of the year so far, um, or getting to be that way in any case. And in the South Pacific, not much going on here either. Uh, you can see it is expected this time though in the so South Pacific, uh, just a few little thunderstorms blowing up over the Solomon Islands. And in the Indian Ocean, that 30% area again, uh, nothing to it so far, but we're really watching day three to five for this system, should it develop, um, we'll watch it very closely. It will start off very broad. Sea surface temperatures then already, some of it being sapped away by those two tropical cyclones in the Eastern Pacific, so it's really got a low tolerance over there for tropical cyclone activity before those temperatures start to dwindle. Over in the Atlantic though, uh, water's still very warm indeed and warming even further, 30 degrees, quite commonplace now in the Gulf and off the uh, Atlantic coast as well, uh, over the Bahamas, south of Cuba, into the Caribbean, off the coast of Haiti, almost everywhere around there, 30 degree waters, very warm. The Indian Ocean uh, also slightly warming up in one or two places, but generally the same with the monsoonal pattern still dominating. And in the Western Pacific, um, you can still see a very similar pattern there as well, but still very warm waters extending from the South China Sea across Luzon into the Philippine Sea towards the Northern Mariana Islands there. And warmer waters still 28 degrees plus, extending almost all the way up to the Japanese Islands. And there's the latest sea surface temperature anomalies. Curiously, a cool pool there in the northern part of the East China Sea. And further towards the east there, the Eastern Pacific, uh, generally hot and cold. And the Atlantic, much warmer than average across pretty much all of the basin, at least all the areas that matter anyway. So very interesting to see what might happen later in the year. Well, on July 21st, 2002, we had Tropical Storm Douglas, which is ironically what we might be just about to have in 2020 in just a matter of hours. Elsewhere, we had uh, Typhoon Fengshan, which peaked as a Category 5, um, its second Category 5 peak today. Kalmegi, which was crossing the international date line, was named and pretty much only lasted one or two advisories. And Feng Wong was a tropical storm further to the northwest. Tropical Depression 13W was cross crossing the Philippine Islands. It would dissipate tomorrow off the western coast of Luzon. 
So the next name in the Atlantic will be Gonzalo, followed by Hannah. In the Eastern Pacific, we're expecting that 8E will be named Douglas, and the next name after that would be Elida, but we'll wait and see for confirmation. In the Central Pacific, Hone is next up on list 1. In the Western Pacific, the next name on list 3 is Sinlaku, followed by Hagapit, and in the North Indian Ocean, the next name on list 1 is Gatti. In the Southern Hemisphere, uh, should we get that Southwest Indian Ocean Cyclone and it gets named, its name would be Alicia. The next name after that would be Bongoyo. In the Australian region, the next name is Imogen. And in the South Pacific, it's Yolanda. That's all for now. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. Check out our New Look Cyclone Tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter, for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash Force 13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.